of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Bisping is eight years his senior. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the Cap. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out You ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice punch there by Bisping. Huge block there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Bisping's pass is denied. Back to the feet now. Oh, single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. Oh, collar tie. Nice straight punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Bisping. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good 
punch lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. There's the kick, that one checked by Bisping. Nice shot to the body. Michael Bisping retreating here. Left-right combo is good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. <laughs> Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. He changes the angle. Finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Hands high, hands high. Sneaky head kick. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. There's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Powerful leg kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Joy and what a round! Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected, we saw this on the match sheet, that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to kick like that. Leg kick. His pink gets caught with that punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, effective strike there by George. Oh, nice right hand. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Bisping gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just over three minutes to go. He's got the single. That 
This is how you scramble, folks. Nice shot to the body there. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie there. Man, as he landed a high ball, you know, strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Head kick there, blocked by Shore. Great punch. Body kick now by Bisbee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, good stick for the body. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Bisping's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Takedown defense holds up. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Single collar tie now. Ten seconds remain in round two. Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world of the UFC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Dig and kick. Just misses with the jab. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch in the clinch. Back to the overhand right, not there. Again, in the clinch. Missed with that attempt. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, 
one. He lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Back and forth we go! That's a big strike right there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice kick there by Bishop. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice head kick. His opponent has not adjusted to these head kicks. Flush right hand is true. Bisping's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Big flush lands through the middle. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, single collar tie here. Bisping gets the tie clinch here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a good strike there by Chor. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Massive head kick! Oh, big left! Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Bisping gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking the shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, collar tie. Big kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 30 seconds to go. Nice punch there. Slips. Straight right, he misses. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. You gotta go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process try to get this fight to the ground. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his heads. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Joy gets caught with that punch. Big leg kick lands. Big head kick lands. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. The hook! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just missed with the leg kick. And there comes the separation now. Straight punch lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. A little single collar tie there. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Takedown defense holds up. Bisping's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Nice kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Straight punch there by Short. Trying to establish that jab once again. Visibly limping here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses with the left hook. Sixty seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch there by Choi. All right, forty-five seconds now to go in the round. Thirty seconds to go. There's no give on that leg kick. And they separate. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Battle for position here. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Chor. Right hand there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round.
All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more round, of the guys, same? Ready? And by that, I mean all of those Let's strikes go, to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, huge block! Nice loop of punch. And they separate. Slips to avoid the right. What a body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. The beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, the outside of that lead leg, the left thigh, really showing signs of bruising now. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents don't walk in the room and watch you guys do that for Steve. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Eats the elbow there. Watch knees to the body. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, big shot land. And they separate. Right hand punch to the clinch. His pin gets hit by that leg kick. That strike blocked by Short. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Ninety seconds and counting remain in the fight. Right hook to the head blocked. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, misses with the jab. Big punch from the clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. One minute to go in the fight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice kick there by Shore. 20 seconds left. Final seconds of this fight. Punch over the top. 
Nice leg kick. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Duhon Chong. All right, congratulations to him.